today I'm going to show you how to make some hanging planters. So these guys are super easy to make. All you have to do is create this rope and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. And then you can hang it up on the wall. I'm just using some 3M command hooks and I put this little piece of wood here to make sure that it didn't scratch against the wall. So to create a hanging planter, what I, you're gonna need is a metal bowl. You can also use glass, but I found metal at my thrift store. Um, some sort of rope uh, that you can use. I used this leather one previously, uh, just to show you what it kind of looks like. And what we're essentially going to be doing, for an example, is creating this little net that will go on to the bowl. There we go. Like so. And it will just hang the plant from the wall. So this is one that I did with the bottom uh, like this, but I decided that I liked this look better. I thought it was a cleaner look um, with no rope at the bottom. Uh, so you can decide what one you would like. It's easy to do both. Um, like I said, like this one, cleaner look. So that's what I'm going to show you how to make today. You can spray paint the metal first or whatever bowl you're using, but it's snowing outside today. So I'm going to do that another day and I'm just going to start with the rope today. Okay, so first you're gonna want four strands of rope. And I cut these so that they're two of my arm lengths. It's about 60 inches is what I was hoping for. Um, depending on the size of your bowl, you might need more rope. Uh, this isn't a very big bowl, so I didn't need a whole lot. And I'm not tying the knot at the bottom. If you're tying the knot at the bottom, then you'll wanna add a few more inches for that. Uh, the more rope is better because then you can cut it down to whatever length you want. So keep that in mind while you're doing it. And so I have my four right here and I'm going to pair them up so that two, I have two pairs. Okay. And then I'm going to take an end on one side and just find the middle by holding both ends together and finding the middle of those. So here is my middle and what I'll do is I'll flip the bowl around, take this spot, my finger is still right in the middle, and I'm going to tape it. And you don't want to tape it right in the middle but off to the side slightly on both sides like that. And then I'll do that again for the other two strings. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm going to tie these so that they're just past the rim of this metal bowl. So I'll just take it and make a little knot. And then I'm just going to separate those two so that I'm ready for the next knot. And I'm going to continue this all the way around. Now that I've added the first one, I'm going to add the next layer of knots and like I mentioned, it depends on the size of your bowl. My bowls aren't very big, so I'm just going to tie this layer, one more layer, and then the final rim layer. So I'm going to have three layers, but if yours was wide, uh, taller, I guess I should say, then I would add some more knots just to give it more space to hold it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to so I'm taking one strand from one knot 
and taking it to the neighboring one like this. And I'm gonna tie some knots on all of these guys. And I'm tying them so it's gonna be about midway point right there. Something like this. And then I will take another piece of tape and I'm gonna tape that guy in place. And now I'm gonna move on to the next one. And see how this one is pulling? They're kind of pulling slightly. I'm gonna hurry and redo this one. And you'll notice that they're not all equal and that's just fine. It'll look cool in the end. Okay, so for the last row on this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Separate these guys and take it to the neighboring one. And I'm just gonna tie it right about there, right at the rim. And again, I'm gonna just tape it into place and I'm gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so now that you have all of these done up, and you can see how long my string is, I probably had it a little too long. But now what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand it up on this way, and you're gonna just pull your string up and tighten it. Try to make it as level as possible, and then you'll tie a knot at the top. And then this knot is where you're gonna hang it from the wall. So this guy, I'm not gonna cut all this off yet because I don't know how, um, how much I wanna hang. So I could tie it down here. Maybe I don't want it so tall. Maybe I want it longer. It just gives you more options for later. So don't cut that yet. And then this guy is all ready to go. Um, I just need to go paint this, but I'm gonna take off all the tape first. And you can just take out your bowl. And then when you want to put your bowl back in, just open it up. And you have your two bottoms right there. Set your bowl in, pull it up, and readjust if you need to. But that is how easy it is to create this planter. Mm -hmm.